Hello, this is Xander, and today I will be doing a video on how to edit a how-to video. So I have right here uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is a very, very useful software. I will be using uh, Resolve 15. Um, it's actually free, and it's very good. But the way we're going to start out is uh, go to your media pool and uh, navigate to where you have your videos. And now what we're going to do is select all of our videos and drag them into the media pool and save that. Uh, and now when we go to edit, now we have all our videos right here and, and we can work on them. So you're going to want to turn on your media pool and effects library. Uh, sound library isn't needed. Um, and we're going to drag our video into, um, into the software. Uh, the next step after that would be to uh, give it, uh, actually, we're going to play it and find out Hello, where it starts. Hello, my name is Xander. Nice to meet you. There we go, right about there. Okay, so what we're going to do is, now that we have our video in here, go to Blade Edit Mode, which allows us to cut it, and then click. Turn off Blade Edit Mode by going back over here to Selection Mode. Click on this, click delete, and now we're going to start off over here. Now if you drag this, what this is going to do is it's going to add a transition effect of it uh, fading in. Hello, my name is Xander, like that. and uh, today we're going to be doing a how-to video. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Fairlight, which is your audio editor. Uh, Click on this, and then click here uh, to bring up the audio scroller so that you can see the audio that you're working on. Um, and now what we're going to do is we are going to add an effect. And this effect is going to be a noise reduction effect. Make sure it's flicked on. Turn it to auto speech mode and then turn it off and now it will remove any noise in the background. Hello my name is Xander and uh, today we're going to be doing a how-to video um, on how to create lights for a uh, launchpad project. Okay so now that that's done uh, we can go back to our edit and then we can add uh, a bit of an effect to the start because you don't want to just start out and have it do nothing. So what we want to do is have it slide in at the start. So now, hello, my name is Xander, and uh, yeah. today we're going to be doing now you get the fade effect and the slide effect. Uh, now this audio clip is about an hour long. So of course it's quite a big file to edit. Um, but what happens is, is it's really good to over record because what you're going to do is you're going to find where you made mistakes and you're going to cut it out. So, oh. Um, so if we find right there, I said, um, oh, it sounds like a different language. Uh, so now I'm going to doing a how-to video. Okay, so right there. Add a break to it. Then go, um, on how to create a and we're going to find where I say um and where that ends. Um, 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 
right there, and we're going to break it there, then go back to our selection mode, delete that, and oh, now it sounds be... a lot better. Hello, my name is Xander, and uh, today we're going to be doing a how-to video on how to create lights for a uh, launchpad project. See how uh, see how smooth that uh, transition was there, and there was no pause, there was no uh, and you can feel free to do that wherever. Just make sure that you have it be a really nice, smooth transition. Okay, so now what you want to do is go through all of the recording and remove any bits of it that don't sound so good. Okay, and now that we have cut out any unwanted parts there, we can switch over to our edit tab, uh, make sure to save everything so that we don't lose it. Um, now, we can just skim through here and add in our little clips that we recorded, like this one right here, into areas that um, that they're supposed to go. So something like this. Um, we would find where that goes, sync it up, and um, and then make sure that the audio uh, syncs with the video. Okay, so we are just going to find our first spot that requires us to, um, that requires us to insert this as video, uh, and then I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have found a spot that requires me to insert the video, I will just click on this clip, 
um, and unclick link clips. Uh, now I will click on just this and click the backspace button to delete it from there. So we still keep the audio, but we don't keep the video. So what we want to do is find the right video clip and make sure that we use that one. And I think that video clip may be this one, but I'm not sure. So if we drag it there and unlink them and delete the audio portion of this, and we play it back. That done. And we cut off the start of this. You will now see light effects popping up on your you will now see light effects popping up. Okay. We just have to go to our cut section and figure out um, exactly where to cut it. You see light effects on and if we cut it right here and delete this part, and then we go back to the start and find exactly where we have to sync this up a little bit. and delete where it hasn't been pressed yet. So split that, delete that, drag it over. That done. You will now hmm. Okay, so if we cut off the start here. Right about there, and we hit split, and we delete this part, and drag it over here. And this might be synced up, I think. Get that done. There we go. So now that that is synced up, we can move this down into here, and everything should work perfectly smoothly. There we go. And now you want to take all the rest of your video clips and shove them in where they are required, just like how we did this one. You may also want to add a bit of a fade um, of a quarter of a second to the start and end of this so that it fades nicely through. Channel 2, channel 3. With that done... now see light effects. There we go. Yep, on your launch pad. Yep, on your launch pad. Okay, there we go. And now that your uh, lights are working, um, what we are going to do is we are now going to open up Apollo. Click on this and click this little tack so that it stays when you do this. So we're going to create a new project and you'll automatically see your track select, the launchpad configuration, and make sure your drum rack is set to XY layout uh, or else it will break. Um, and now we go over here. We already have on here different pages. There's page one, two, three, four. Um, 
and then we can click the plus icon. We can click the add default to switch and set it to plus, then increase the value to And we this to an And go to and click paint and right click on page one, click copy, then increase the value D to the next one. So we're going to go on button three because this is page three. You can also take this opportunity to um, speed up any sections that you have to speed up. So if we put it into the blade edit mode, and chop up that area right there and we find the end of this section that we have to speed up and then we chop it right there we can go back to our selection mode click on it uh, unlink the clips and delete the audio using the backspace button because that's not needed during a speed up and then we can find this and we can right click it change the clip color to orange so that we know this clip is going to be sped up okay we're going to right click on the clip click change clip speed set it to ripple sequence and set it to 400 and now if we Click maintain timing and change it. it. Should get quite a bit smaller. Now, if we find our little orange clip that we just created and we play it back, it should be a lot quicker than before. And that should make it quite a bit more watchable. Um, seeing as it's quite okay, a repetitive now that thing. That's done. If so now if we go through and uh, continue to find the places where our video clip should go and where we need to speed up something, uh, we can make those changes. And then we should be just about good to put in our intro clip and outro clip. Okay, and now that we have uh, sped up what needs to be sped up and um, and gone and cut out anything that needed to be cut out and also inserted all of our video clips in, we can move on to our video intro and on to the video outro. 
Uh, and for the sake of time, I'm not going to be doing subtitles for this video because that can take uh, hours and hours of putting together. Um, so I will just be uh, doing... Well, I think I'll just be doing the uh, video intro and outro, and then we should be done. Uh, so you can just delete the uh, video 2 and audio 2 tracks that we haven't used. Uh, make sure to save. And now, if we go to titles, we can find a little bit of an intro that we like. Okay, so now that I have found an intro I like uh, and dropped it in here, uh, it's a cinematic intro. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click over top of it, and we're going to switch to Fusion. Uh, this may take a little bit to load, but once it's loaded, we can double click here to expand the folder, uh, move our little folder over the slightest bit. There we go. And this is your Fusion editor. Um, so Fusion is a software that is generally separate from Resolve, but it also comes uh, with a limited version inside of Resolve. Uh, and it is a node-based animation software. So for example, if we go to our node that says text1, uh, it says a cinematic headline on a smoky background. You can see that it goes past. So what we're going to do is change this text, and you can do as many lines as you want. Uh, we're going to change this text to be want to create lights for um for or launch pad okay so now if we go to the start you can see that that zooms by then the second title if we double click here we can do top lights Whoops, top lights, and then click here, call it side lights, um, and then we'll do, uh, I guess, I will teach you how to how day. Then I guess text 5 will be our final one, and we can rename this to how to um, make a light effects for your launch pad. There we go. And now we can watch this through. It's going to be a little bit uh, buggy because your computer has to render the whole thing as it goes. And you can see there's a lot of smoothed out surfaces here. So it can take a little bit depending on what letters uh, are being rendered. So if you just give it a second, uh, when it renders the whole thing, it should be um, better. There we go. Okay. So now that that's all done, we can go back to our editing page and play this. And you see when it turns blue, it will be uh, rendering the whole thing. Blink. So just play it over a couple times until it turns completely blue, and then we can watch the whole thing completely smoothly. There we go. So now if you watch, this goes pretty smoothly. Hello! 
we can just uh, select everything, deselect this, move it all down a little bit, click here, stretch it out a little bit, then select everything, deselect that, bring it back, and we can see if that works. There we go. Hello, my name's Xander. There we go. So now all we have to do is go and get some, uh, get some audio for this. And I think if we go to Ben Sound, uh, Ben Sound is generally pretty good with cinematic music. And you can just go through here. Um, it's bensound.com, and they give you uh, free music to use in videos. You just have to give them credit. So right now, I think we can just uh, find one, and I'll be right back. OK, so once you have your music downloaded, you're going to want to go into your media pool. Uh, and you're going to want to find uh, where you saved that. Uh, just give me a second to find it. And we can import the mp3 file that we just downloaded. Then find Ben Sound right here. Here's our music. And we can go to cut and find the part right at the start. Drop in our music onto audio track. Oh, where's the audio track? Okay, into our audio track two, uh, and then what I would do is uh, deselect these two and move this down a little bit more, uh, make the title intro uh, a little bit longer. There we go. And now we just need to find the right part of the... Uh, of the music that we want to keep. just want to make this uh, long enough that you can find uh, the a good part of the music that is um, a spot where you can cut it short and end it. So we just want to keep going until we find that spot. Cut it right at that spot, and then go and find a good ending bit for that. Right about there is a good spot. And we can cut it right there. And you might want to turn off the magnet part for this and zoom in a little bit more. Right about here. And we can cut it right there. And remove this part. And then play that.
And now if we zoom back out and we delete what we made in between, we can drag this all the way back to the end of here. Uh, turn on clipping so it clips together. Whoops. And then clip those together and see how that goes. <laughs> So what I would say is maybe cut that a little bit short. How to video. And then take this and drag it so that it starts to go down. And then take this and at just the right point. Okay, so I think we need to zoom in again, all the way up to there, and then we're going to go back into cut mode and cut a little bit off the end of this. And also turn off clipping there. And then we'll cut it there, and then this up to here actually yeah and then mute that and zoom out whoops and then put these together with clipping on and see how that sounds level out the audio uh, I think it needs a little bit more here but I guess it's fine uh, if we put down the volume here a little bit bring that there volume down a little bit there Bring this a little bit closer. Then it sounds more natural. We can bring this here, select this, and delete it. Hello? There we go. There we go. And now we have our intro. Just drag this a little bit further to there so that it's always transitioning down. That should sound better. Hello, my name is Xander, and today we're going to be doing a how to video on how to. Okay, so if we drag this so that the music ends up, like, ends off still, and then we take this and pump up the volume just the slightest bit. There we go. Hello, my name is Xander, and today we're going to be doing a how-to video on how to create lights for a launchpad project. Uh, today we will be using Ableton, uh, which we should probably pull up right now. We'll also be using Apollo Studio, uh, which will be... And there you go. There you have it. We have edited the whole video. 
Now if we just head to the end, we can create some credits or a uh, ending scene um, by going to our titles, uh, going down to where are credits, I guess. Generally with credits, you can put a scroll in there and double click your scroll. And on your scroll, you probably want to set it to scroll down the middle. Uh, yeah, down the middle. Um, and your title, I guess. This can be... Uh, you probably want to select a nice font for it, so find a font that you like. Uh, I'd say that a good one uh, for doing credits is Tahoma. Um, or you can also do, uh, give me a second to find it. Sago UI is also a good one. Um, I think for a more professional feel, you could always use, uh, uh, Rubik might be good. Uh, Roboto is also good, but I think Rubik we're going to stick with. Script is not not a uh, Latin font. So if we go to our Rubik, uh, we can set it to bold, uh, or I'd set it to bold italic. Uh, but I think normal is pretty pretty good for this. Um, probably want to set our size down a little bit more. And then we can set, uh, might want to remove the background to that and set this to credits and go down. And once you reach here, you can do, um, I think at this point it should be smaller, but I think if you change it smaller, it's smaller overall. So I think if we just get rid of credits there and just go director, Xander, M, editor, Xander, M, uh, voice, one is Xander, M, uh, camera, one, um, yeah, and those are our credits, and now we so can find some, I think, we can find uh, some more music. We can put that at the end. Okay, so we have a uh, a new one downloaded. So it's called Ben Sound Better Day. You can just drag that in. Go to our editor and stick this at the end. Uh, those can go there. I don't think I'm gonna put a background on it. Um, we just have to cut this at the right moment for the credits. I think maybe right here. Well, it's going backwards. Right about there. That's where I think I'll cut it. There we go. And if I cut it there, I'm in cut, there we go. Select this, backspace, drag this over, and now we have our credits. And then we can cut it a little bit after that. And then delete this, and drag down the volume from there. Here we go. I think if we edit the text a little bit, we can make it go up until the fade. Uh, and then we can do, um, thanks for watching at the end. And there we go, there's our credits. Okay. And now 
of course, save your project. And that's how you edit a how-to video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!